This is an interesting question that is playing around with pronouns and the placement of modifiers. A vertical scan through the answer choices reveals a split between it and they, and of course we can check what these pronouns are referring to. The sentence reads that starfish have this ability and if one arm is lost, it quickly replaces that arm. And the first catch is this one. Now some might immediately think that this it is fine, it is referring to starfish and starfish is singular so that works because some think that fishes is the right plural form of fish. But that is entirely not the case because fishes can only be used in that form when we are actually talking about multiple species of fish. But when we are talking about only one species, and even if you see multiple fish swimming around, you just need to say fish itself. So the singular and the plural can still be the same when you're just talking about one species. On the other hand, the sentence itself is giving us a very strong clue that starfish have this ability and this is a plural verb, which means this is a plural subject. So this it cannot refer back to starfish. That is a mismatch in number, so A goes off. Now in B, we don't have it replaces, we rather have it is replaced. And when you think about it logically, the arm is replaced. So this it is logically referring back to the arm. And that is a proper match in number, so we can hold on to B. The only difference here is that the it replaces the arm is written in active form and the arm is replaced is written in passive form, that's all. Now in C, they lose one arm, they replace it, the two days are referring back to starfish itself and the it is referring to the arm. So all of this works, we can hold on to C. D says they lose one arm, they are replaced. Now this is just similar to the passive construction in B, but here instead of it, we have they which is plural, but the arm is singular. So that is a clear mismatch in number, D goes off. And if they lose one arm, it is replaced. So the they is referring to the starfish and the it is referring to the arm. So this is also proper match in number. We can hold on to that. So A and D are out of the way. Let's look at the differences with the remaining choices. Now a vertical scan reveals that in B, we have this conjunction separating this overcompensating and growing. Whereas in C and E, we don't have that conjunction, we rather have a comma. So let's understand these differences. In B, this whole with construction is acting as a modifier for the previous clause. So they have this ability and if one arm is lost, it is replaced, comma, with the animal sometimes overcompensating growing. So this makes perfect sense because it's modifying the clause in front of it. But in C, we have this growing an extra arm or two is actually put in the present participle modifier form. Now present participle forms placed after commas at the end of clauses usually end up modifying the clause in front of it. But if you look at this, sometimes by the animal overcompensating, this is not a clause construction at all. This is actually a modifier construction placed in between commas. So the growing one or two cannot act as a modifier for sometimes by the animal overcompensating. So for example, starfish overcompensate lost arms growing an extra one or two this present participle modifier is acting on the complete clause in front of it, that this is exactly how they overcompensate lost terms by growing an extra one or two. But when you look at the constructions of C and E, we do not have such a clause construction before this present participle modifier. So thereby, this cannot indicate that this is exactly how they end up overcompensating their lost term. So grammatically, this construction is invalid. So C and E go off. This leaves us with the right answer choice, B for Bravo.